my channel. So today's very exciting because we're doing a little crafting time. Okay, so I went shopping this week for work and we saw so many different embellishments. And this is something that I started seeing maybe like a month or two ago. And I thought, ooh, I really want to like embellish some of my stuff. Like I should order something. I ordered these probably two weeks ago. And that's why I didn't do a video last week because this stuff didn't come in until literally the day before the video. So I was like, okay, well, this isn't going to work. I don't even know if they were going to look good. So I just held off on my last week's video. Anyhow, we're back on track because they came in looking so good. I want to do a couple different things. So first I want to put these. Here's an up close. And I will link all of these in my description box, but they are from Amazon, which isn't my favorite, but I like literally couldn't find anything anywhere else. Michael's was like very expensive and I, we're balling on a budget these days, okay? Inflation is kicking me in the ass. So anyway, continuing on. So I want to get like a cropped button up, like something very chic, either white or blue and white stripe. I hope a blue and white stripe or maybe even a colored stripe, but we're going to go to the Goodwill today and see what we can find. I have some stuff in my closet I could always abbreviate, etc. but like I wouldn't love to do that. And then last case scenario, there is one at Gap that is really cute, but it's like $60. So I don't think I would be saving myself any money versus buying the J Crew or the Zara stuff, but it's okay because it's kind of fun, right? And unique. So anyway, that's step one. And then I also saw a lot of little sh like silk tanks or something like that with these types of straps. And I have this red dress that I've been meaning to add either a pearl strap to or something like that. So I think I'm going to do these and I think it should be cute. I also thought like if I happened to see something at the Goodwill, it'd be cute to do some kind of halter top with it. But I'm also not sure how like it's going to work. <laughs> so TBD there. And then lastly, I'll get this shirt. I, so I have this top that I saw at Maj. They did some sort of similar thing. I had thrifted this and I want to change the buttons because look how silly and ugly they are. This is from Zara, but I think if I just do like a crystal button, which is in the mail on the way, and then I got these like floral pearls to scatter around, that would be really, really cute. And then I also was like digging through my stuff that I had to sell and I found this and I tried it on and I think it could be kind of a cute like tanky. So that's also an option for the scattered moment. I don't know y'all. So it's all up in the air and we're just gonna see what we can find and then you know figure it out from there so if you're new to my channel my name is Mallory I live in New York I work in the fashion industry I went to school for fashion design so that's what I do here I'm in fashion design and I also do YouTube on the side I think it's really fun and it's a way to get out my creativity and share with the world a little community for myself so make sure to check me out if you haven't yet I do a lot of thrifting crafting as you can see uh, not a lot of it when I have time I did a whole metallic thrift thing which reminds me I want to paint some of my bags but there's just you know always so many things to do yay okay check me out on all my social medias and we'll have a really good day today we're gonna go check it out so yay okay let's go Okay, so starting off with this J Crew top, literally in stores right now. I just saw it in stores. So cute, tags on, but look, there's a freaking tiny hole, so I decided not worth it. Also tried this on, kind of cute, but I wasn't obsessed with it, and I'm not buying things I'm not obsessed with, but it would go with a lot. This men's shirt was put back in the women's wear, and honestly, it looks so much like that Zara one. I was like, in love. Then I found this H&M one, which was cropped in white, just like I wanted, but the quality. This would be a cute, like, work top but not quite the vibe i was envisioning this satin banana republic top looks so much like that j crew dress but i feel like i don't know what pants i would wear so i skipped but it's very similar and then for the random finds i thought this looked a lot like a Cezanne top that i just recently saw but the shoulder pads were a little too much this zara top is super cute i'm a little over this mesh thing so then i was like well maybe i take it off and put the straps on it but i actually don't know if that makes sense i couldn't try this on because of my skirt, but i think it could be a cute top not a skirt i don't know so a decision had to be made do we do the h&m less quality or the calvin klein amazing quality like just look at the seaming you know we went for the calvin we did i'm back oh my god it is literally so hot out there i'm going 
to die of a heat stroke. Okay, but here's a little haul. Ready? So what we ended up getting is just the little blue girl. So I thought this was nice because it reminds me a lot of the Zara one. I like that it was a little bit longer. I might shorten it. I might not. I might do two versions. Like this one I'll maybe do in like a blue rhinestone and then a white one I'll do the regular crystals. I don't know. Okay, anyway, I also got this, which is a skirt and I didn't, <laughs> didn't wear. But now I'm like looking at it. Maybe it is a top. Is it a top? Where is a skirt? I think it'd be a really freaking cute top. And I did that corset thrift flip that one time. And so I think I'm going to do the same technique where I make a little loops, make it a little corset, and maybe I add little black straps on it. You know? Look it up close cute oh, oh, oh. just imagine like a fun jean and little metallic heel then okay i got this because i was like i really like the fit i love the way this um material feels and i was like how cute if this was like a sparkly tank so i don't know i do kind of like the puff sleeves and everything but i don't know if it's my vibe right now i actually have a top so similar to it and i've worn it once and i used to have a pink one exactly like this and i also wore that once so I don't think I'll wear it because it's hard to wear a jacket with it. I don't know though. It could be good for summer. But I like the way it fits. So I'm thinking about maybe looking into making it have the little rhinestone strappies. So this is a lot of things on my plate that I decided to do, huh? So maybe I do that polka dot one with this because I also think this would be a really cute like bubble skirt or shirt because it's all like um, messed up. So I, don't, I think it has to be a top. But anyway, besides the point, yeah, that's the update. I'm freaking tired. What a long, 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 long day already. I see and he did a nap. Okay, see you tomorrow or maybe later this week. Okay, friends, I literally can't sleep. It's five o'clock in the morning. <laughs> Anyway, so I wanted to just do this because I've been meaning to do it. So here we have our shirt that we thrifted and our little bejewels. So I'm going to do this one first and I'm just going to sew them scattered around. I thought like, do I do the front and back? I'm going to start with the front, see how much I want on there because I don't want it to be like, too overdone and then we'll bring it to the back. But I have three different colors. I'm not sure like, I think the gray would be better because it'll blend in with this crystals, right? Let's just see how it goes. Okay, friends, I literally look so scary. I know I'm so sorry. I did finish this today, this morning <laughs> before work. And then I finished like the end of it the rest of the day. I think it looks really cute. I'm going to maybe order more. They're $20 a package. I regret not using the smaller ones. I think I could have only used one package to do the full thing. But because I think I want it to be also on the back and the sleeves, I'm going to need to order a new one because all of them are the big sizes. I should have like probably planned it out better um but i think it might like start selling these i think that would be like a fun little thing because it's so much better for me to be like sewing or doing something with my hands versus like scrolling on tiktok as i watch you know a documentary or something so anyway i just hand sewed them on and they're not perfect by any means but they look really good and they're on there sturdy so i think they'll be fine in a washing machine like maybe in a delicate setting so whatever that's done moving on so this one the buttons finally came in today um so i'm gonna replace them on the back and then I have these little floral ones that are supposed to come in. They're back ordered till June 2nd. So I'm going to put these rhinestones on. If I think it needs more, I'll add more to it. Or I might just put the little flowers on something else. But that's what we're going to do tonight. So yay. <laughs> Project one, complete. Project two, complete so cute right i think it would be even cuter with the little flowers on it and then project three is that red dress that i tried to do a flip on like so long ago i've looked through all my piles all my things i can't find it anywhere you guys i don't know if i ended up actually getting rid of it but yeah so now i have the straps that i want to add to a tank i just don't have a tank to add it to Oh god, ow my hair. So I think I'm gonna order something on Poshmark, but there's no way it gets here in time for this video to be uploaded. This is taking a lot longer than I ever like anticipated. I don't know. Okay, I'm just gonna style these two things up tomorrow. I hope that's okay. You get the gist, right? Like, let's be dazzle our clothes, right? You guys, I found it. It was like hiding in my little basket. I literally dumped the whole thing out. I was like, where is this? Okay, so this used to have little like ruffles right here, and I decided to take them off and make it just a little slip dress like this. But this then I decided why not put the little rhinestone straps on this one, right? So anyway, I have to re-sew this because when 
I did it, I flipped it the wrong way. Like, I don't know. I'm having a really hard time how to not, like, top stitch stuff. And I still don't really... Because here's the thing. It's, like, lying here. So it's, like, technically it needs to be inside out, like, all the way. Of course, like, this card is full. All my other cards are full. I'm so unorganized. I hate myself sometimes. Okay. If I go like that, then can I flip it? See, I, like, sewed it the wrong way last time. Okay, so I'll come back to you when this is done. Oh my god, you guys, this dress is, like, stressing me out. Look at it now. I'm just, like, not good at this, okay? It's too tight, but this side looks good because I was able to flip it all the way. Let me see if there's something else I want to do that to. Okay, why did I not think of this one before? I haven't worn this in so long. Um, This would be the perfect little bling stone. I'm just going to, I'm going to fix this one. Okay, so I'm literally just taking this stone and measuring it the length of the strap. So like to right there. And then I'm gonna cut it, I guess. I don't know what with. I'm gonna go see if I have pliers. Okay, wait, I don't, but I do have these. Wait, now I'm scared that I lost my Okay, wait, redo, redo. Okay, hang on. <laughs> all right, friends, now for the try on portion. Okay, so I finished all the three things, and now here's the outfit all done up. So I thought it'd be cute to wear like a little skirt because you know I wanted it to be on that dress, but different plans happen. So I still think this is like a really fun, cute, like cocktail hour outfit. I know the reds don't match perfectly, but I think it's fine. I just threw on my thrifted little metallic shoes that still don't fit me. And then here it is close up it's so cute this top has never fit me that well which is why i like don't wear it that much but i still think it's like a cute vibe um in general so here it is dressed up yay here's another way that i would wear this top which is like a nice white like light wash jean i love these jeans from dl 1961 same kid in heels same top different vibe you know what i mean great for cocktails drinks even more casual um i probably would wear my hair up but i did just blow it out so I put it to the side so you can still see the blank. But yeah, I'm so glad that I did this to this top and I need to like scour my other clothes to see what else I can do. And I went ahead and linked this um, in the description box. So if you wanted to get this gem, it's the first one. Okay, again, here it is up close. I'm so proud. Okay, I think this looks so freaking good. My favorite so far, the thing that started it all was rhinestoning a button up shirt. I just saw some a whole set at Sandro with the gems all over, which I definitely have thought about maybe doing, but I think because these are so raised and kind of bigger that I just think the front is okay. But yeah, just pairing it with the same wide leg pants, pop metallic heel, like very, very cute and fun. Definitely wanna wear this to grab a drink and have a good time, you know what I mean? Love. Okay, and I don't wanna spoil it too much, but I did go thrifting and shopping this month, so I'm gonna do a spring haul for next week's video, Um, and these pants are part of it. How freaking darling are they? I actually just bought them yesterday. They're from J. Crew, and of course when I left, I didn't realize, and nothing beeped, but this security tag is on it, so now I have to go back today because I wanna wear these on my vacation this weekend, Memorial Day weekend, anyway. This is the outfit. I think it's so freaking nice and cute. It would be great for work. Maybe I'd do a little tuck behind. And then, yeah, she's like in the office. We'll button her up a little more, you know, keep it office friendly. But yeah, a little side tuck and she's perfect for the office. I think it's so darling. Like obviously this outfit would still be cute with a plain button up, but add a little stone on it. She's fun, she's different, she's cool, and I love it. All right, last way I would wear this top is to like a bar, a club, bus, club, nether club, you know what I mean? So, shoots boots, jean shorts, easy, lightweight, comfortable, but like cool and fun and like on trend, you know? So cute. Woohoo! I mean, it's giving, passing the tequila, let's party. You feel me? Okay, and the last little bedazzled flip, we have the peplum top. This Zara top I've had for literally 30 years, sitting in a bucket because I wanted to change out the buttons, which here's a little close up, take a little gander. They're a little like squeezed on there, but overall super cute. And now I think more wearable in my opinion. I hated those black buttons. Put on a pair of metallic jeans, so fun. Gucci slides, just easy going to work outfit. I work in the fashion industry, so this outfit might seem a little crazy to others to wear to work, but I would blend right in and I would probably get some compliments. So super cute, super easy, and happy to see Tweed is like super back in. I saw something similar to this at Maj in the um, spring, so 
love when that happens so i think this would be a good way to wear this top for like brunch or something okay these pockets are messed up i think it's really darling these shoes are so fun and cute i got them through an influencer on nasty gal of all places the quality is like subpar it was a year ago but they're very cute so i wanted to wear them with this i think pink and yellow is like a fun vibe you know so, and just a little tip, if you're going to wear a peplum top, I feel like you need to wear a pair of wider leg pants than maybe a skinny, because you don't want to go, like, out and then super in. So just an FYI to, like, keep it slim in here, but then wide leg, wide waist. If that makes sense. Okay, hope you like this outfit. I think she is adorable. Okay, so that was a bit of a journey. I definitely went through all the highs and lows, like waking up at 5 a.m. to sew everything. I definitely want to bedazzle more. I'm going to get those little daisies in. I also have so much more left of that rope and some more rhinestones. I think I'm going to just keep the shirt where it is and not rhinestone all over because they're just a little, I think it makes it easier to wear like everywhere. And it all looks so good with my outfits. Let me know your thoughts. I hope you enjoyed enjoyed it yay subscribe and i will see you guys in my next week's video which is going to be a thrift haul i literally have all this stuff here that i thrifted like randomly like you know that skirt in this video and then i also just randomly went thrifting with my friend and i didn't do like a thrift with me video on it and we just like happened to bump in after lunch so i'm gonna make a haul out of it and i will see you guys in that week's video so subscribe love you goodbye have a great memorial day weekend and stay blessed okay Bye.